That's your normal serve? Yeah, I'm not jumping. Okay, go ahead and do your normal serve with the jump and with everything. With the jump? Yeah, with everything. No, even like when I used to do like with the jump, yeah. I, I was making a lot of mis a lot of mistakes. I wasn't getting okay. In. Gotcha. So I start jumping. So you stop. You stop jumping. So you're yeah. just doing this for now. Yeah. So this is your real serve. Yeah, the first. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, and keep going. Second, trying to go for the, the kick. Okay, let me see this one again. Okay, Bremen, look. The good news is you have an incredibly fast arm. The ball is coming off your racket really fast. That's the good news. So there's a lot of potential for you to have a really strong serve. But there's some fundamental flaws on your, on your flat serve. And the first thing that we have to fix is going to be the simplest thing to fix, and that is your toss. So you're throwing the ball too far behind you. It's going behind your head. I'd like you to throw the ball a little bit more inside the baseline. Okay. When you do so, allow your body to lean forward slightly. Okay. All right? Throw it a little higher. A little bit more inside. Go again. Even more, Bremen, even more. And then throw more. it slightly more in front of the court, inside. Okay, here's the reason why I want you to do that, because if I slow mode your serve right at the moment of contact. Because of your toss, you end up making contact right on top of your head like this. That's your contact on the flat serve. There would be an okay contact for the kick, but not for the flat or the slice. So on those two serves, you need to make contact slightly in front of your head. And a good way to do that is to get that toss, you know, more inside the court. But then remember to, if you don't lean forward, you end up making contact too far in front. You end up going like this, like a jackknife. So you do have to lean on the ball a little more. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's why I haven't been doing a lot of first serves because I was getting, you know, sometimes I get a good one and I was making a lot of mistakes. Okay. So I was doing, trying to go for a slice or for a kick. So you, just to get more consistency. when you're playing matches, you go for a kick on the first serve? I was just to get more consistency, you know, get used more. With that's, there's nothing I was going slice sometimes and then kick too. There's nothing wrong with that. No. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Because most of the players, yeah. even, even with the kick serve, when I get it, they don't return that. Of that. course. There's nothing well, wrong with doing that if you play matches right now, especially since there are some fundamental elements missing on your first serve mm -hmm. that when you, f the f you hit a ball very fast, so mm -hmm. naturally there's going to be a lot of mistakes. Your first serve percentage is going to be super low. Mm -hmm. So when you're playing, let's say you play a match tomorrow, I would recommend that you mm -hmm. kick your first serve. No, exactly. But long term, because there's a lot of potential on your mm -hmm. flat serve and your slice, no, exactly. and we need to build the fundamentals. Yeah, no, exactly. Just think long term, okay. though. This won't be fixed in a day. Even more, Bremen. Even more inside. Just exaggerate. Watch. Even more inside. See this? Okay. It's okay to get that toss way in there. Even more, you're, st you're still making contact right on top of your head. That's probably my favorite one so far. And then feel yourself leaning on the ball, okay? Feel yourself leaning on it. Maybe the best serve you hit so far. Okay, so the first element that we added was throwing the ball more in front. Now, the second thing that we need to do is get on your toes a little bit more okay. and and slightly bend your knees so when you're leaning i also want you to be on your toes and bend the knees slightly all right <laughs> okay that's interesting your pinpoint stance came out okay got it okay so you do a pinpoint stance i used to so I, and then I decided to go like this. The, platform. So it, it was easier for me to stay there. Okay, so continue doing platform. There's really no right or wrong. You have to find the one that you like better. Okay. But even on a platform, you can't be like completely flat with okay. the front foot here and your heel on the ground. It's going to be very tough for you to get vertical momentum. So okay. you want to get that heels up. Get okay. both heels up and get in a slight knee bend. Okay. Yes, that's it. And now, when you do this, at the same time, lean. So you're gonna be going here, and now you're leaning forward like that. 
Okay, when you are loaded here, where is your weight? Is it more on your back foot or on your front foot? I'm trying to go for that, yeah, to stay on the toes. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to lean more. Lean more, but I want you to lean a little bit more forward to get a little bit more weight on the front foot. Okay. It, it appears to me that you're settling into the back foot back here. Yeah, you have a very difficult time okay. getting out of the back foot. Okay. And partially it's because you were so used to throwing the ball behind, behind you. So now that you're throwing it more in front, you're still kind of coming out of the back foot. Mm -hmm. And you're really not transferring the energy correctly. Okay. So when you get into the loading position and you're here and the ball's in front and you're leaning and you're in your toes and bending the knee slightly, naturally, mm -hmm. you should have more weight here. Okay. Probably like 60, 40, 70, 30, more on the front foot. I'm so much better, Bremen. This is killer. Better. So this is what I want to show you when you look at the footage is that despite the fact that you're not trying to jump, you are leaving the ground. Mm -hmm. Because when your body is positioned like this, you know, this is the, mm -hmm. the bending position of the body, you're not going to serve like this. Naturally, there's going to be certain things happening to the position of the body that's mm -hmm. going to propel you off the ground. Number one, you have a tilt here. You're going to mm -hmm. cartwheel into the ball. You're going to straighten the entire system, your legs, and your torso. And when you do that fast enough, violent enough, in conjunction with leaning forward and putting the weight more on the front foot, it will result in you getting airborne mm -hmm. without intending to jump, without mm -hmm. consciously jumping what I call the passive leg drive. And I've been seeing that. Mm -hmm. And I'll, you can see it in the footage that you are actually coming off the ground. Mm -hmm. So you should never try to jump on your serve. Mm -hmm. That's going to be impossible to time. And I'm sure that you realize that when you tried and you couldn't get a lot of serves in. No, and that's yeah. probably why you stopped doing it. Uh -huh. So you don't ever have to do that. It comes naturally. You right? will naturally start getting off the ground more and more. Okay. okay, try a couple more. Now, another thing that happens when you do what you're doing now is that the arm feels easier and smoother mm -hmm. and more effortless. Are you feeling that now? Oh, yeah, I understand. And yeah, it feels like I'm not having to oh, swing that fast. hard. It's coming naturally. Okay, good. All right, very nice. That's what I'm seeing. Like it looks like you're exerting less effort and the ball is going with mm -hmm. the same speed, if not a little bit faster. Yep. Okay, do a couple more. That thing was an absolute bullet right there. That's fast. That was fast, right? Yes. See, the good news on your service, you have a naturally a, a rocket arm. Like you're hitting the serve faster than any other stroke. You have a very fast arm. Mm -hmm. So this is the potential on your service, huge. Now you have to just build the elements. There's already a lot of great things that you're mm -hmm. doing. For example, you have a good racket drop. Mm -hmm. You are pronating into the contact. You have a good rhythm on your serve. You have a pretty consistent toss, actually, besides the fact that you're sometimes not throwing it far enough in front. Mm -hmm. But the direction of the toss is okay for now. So there's a lot of good things coming your way. Now it's about adding these small little pieces step by step. So I don't want to give you too much information mm -hmm, No, exactly. at once. I want you to focus on making contact in front of your head, throwing the ball inside the court, mm -hmm. leaning mm -hmm. forward slightly to accommodate the toss, mm -hmm. and most importantly, getting on your toes a little bit more okay. and bending your knees. And that's for right now the only thing you should, you should work on. The good news is that this is going to be a fundamental element on all your serves, not just the flat serve, but also on your kick. So this will be good muscle memory for for all the serves. Okay, no, so keep yeah, working 100%. on this, yeah. and then the next time you come, I'm gonna show you a couple other things that That's you can good. add on your serve, okay? Thank you. Nice work, man.